my brother's cooler because he's like a DJ, so he's all like laid back and very like mellow, but like I'm so hyper. Hi, I'm Zaina Dura. I'm the writer director of Luxor and I'm in London, England. I was really depressed when I came up with the idea for Luxor because I hadn't made a film in about eight years. And so I felt like a complete failure. I felt so down. I was like, what have I been doing? And that night I went to bed and I had this dream about a woman walking through Luxor. And in the morning I woke up and I called out a friend up who's Dalmira Geinzer, who's the DP. And I started to explain to her this dream I'd had. And I said, you know what? I think I'm just gonna maybe self-fund and go out to Luxor. I know this great Egyptian producer, I'll ask him how much it costs because I'm sick of waiting and I know I have so much to say and do and I'm, I'm like, I know I can do this with my eyes shut. So I don't know why I'm waiting for people to like give me the green light. And she's like, well, that's amazing. And I said, well, would you shoot it? And, and I'd pay you nothing. She goes, yeah, sure, let's just do it. I said, mom, it's been green it, we're going ahead. She's like, just promise me one thing, you won't get pregnant. I'm like, yeah, no, don't worry. So I go out to location scout, all that kind of stuff. And then of course I come back and I'm pregnant. And then everyone's like, oh, the film is off. I'm like, no, 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 the film is so happening. I give birth. I think my son was now probably 10 weeks, 12 weeks. I'm on a plane in Egypt. I'm in prep for 10 days. Then I go out to the location and we shoot 10 days later. It was also really empowering because as a woman, I saw that it's oh cool if I'm the if I'm like the director and I say everyone can have their kids on set like my Zalmira had her kids and if anyone wanted their kids on set that was cool you know and I really like working with mothers because they understand what I'm juggling. It's a there's a shorthand between us which is really wonderful. I think that that was also really empowering because no one was telling us what to do. We were setting the rules. Everyone really kind of gave it their all with little resources. It was a very demanding job, right? So you have to really find your team. You know, Zell brought a gaffer from New York. That's the only decadent thing we had. We brought a gaffer from New York that she could trust because we shot in 18 days. So then we literally turned this room, which is basically the guest room stroke, like my study, into the editing suite and we had Andrea come from Chile for like 20 days and we worked like students literally we worked very indie film like 17 hours a day we did screenings of the film in my kids playroom on a big screen it's really helpful to have somebody who believes in you who's supporting you because that really makes a difference so much of it is about perseverance and encouragement and finding those kind of people. Like, so for example, after Luxor's reception, we've had a wonderful reception, but until you, you get there and it's really only like a moment, right? Because then you have to harness that energy and make the next film. But you know, there's like there's these big, these big sort of like silent periods. I guess when you have a couple of champions that like text you and email you and like ask you what you're doing and, and like keep you going, it's really, really helpful. I think it's really important to have a healthy life outside of film that also feeds your work. My partner's family is they're professors and it's all about antiquities and things like that. And I, I really think that subconsciously that must have fed into me focusing on, on Luxor and, and the idea of history and archaeology and, you know, all these little things that, you know, that, that you pick up along the way, they're all really useful. And I think that's really important for, for filmmakers to hear. One brilliant director once said to me, directing's fine. It's about what you do in your life between films. How do you stay sane? And I think that's really important.